it's not giving green. <laughs> it's giving black with a tinge of green. So, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be reviewing and ranking all the green eyeshadows in my eyeshadow palette collection. There's gonna be some swatches, but I'm gonna try not to swatch every single palette because we'll be here quite a while. <laughs> you can see the beautiful stack of palettes that are all laid out in front of me. I'm really excited to share these with you today. Before I do, let me just say, if you're new here, hi, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I would love if you would take a moment to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. That being said, let's get into the video. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by saying, I've only been playing with green eyeshadows for about three years now. <laughs> So I haven't been wearing green eyeshadow all that long. I haven't been into colorful eyeshadow all that long either. I've been playing with colorful eyeshadows since about 2020. And I didn't really get into green eyeshadow until maybe like 2021, something like that. So during that time, I have collected quite a few number of eyeshadows that I like to turn to whenever I'm in the mood for a green eyeshadow look. I only have like a couple of them that I consider a standalone green palette. Like I don't need any other palettes to create a green eye look. I can just use that one palette. But most of my green shades are from within palettes that have a bunch of other colors. So sometimes I have to go digging through my palettes in order to combine some of the shades of green that I want. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today those palettes that I start digging through when I'm trying to decide which green shadows I wanna play with. I'm gonna start off with my least favorite of the bunch. <laughs> And, okay, so so in today's ranking, normally in my rankings, I rank from worst to best. We are still gonna go in that order, but instead of going like, you know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 1, well, you know what I mean. I do know how to count, but you know what I'm saying, like going from the worst to the best, one by one, I'm going to separate it into three. I've got three categories to share with you today, that being the worst category, meaning, I don't really like these greens in my collection. I mean, they're fine enough eyeshadows, but I don't turn to these palettes for the shade of green. That's gonna be the first category. The second category is gonna be for my medium favorites. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you call it, but like, they're not the worst of the bunch, but they're not the best of the bunch. They're kind of like that middle area and um, they're kind of like that middle area and I'll explain whatever it is about each of those shades that makes it not quite to the top level of my green favorites, but it's still a green that I reference. It's still a green that I turn to to pull from that palette. All right, and then the third category is going to be the very best greens in my collection, the ones that make my heart take a leap when I play with them, the very best of the best, and I turn to these and forget about the rest. <laughs> so those are gonna be the three categories. Let's start off with, thankfully, my smallest category, which is the worst greens in my collection. And the absolute worst green out of every single eyeshadow palette that I own um, when I turn to green palettes is here in this NARS Climax palette. It only has two shades of green here and they're kind of dusty, kind of soft and muted. This green here is the culprit that I really just can't stand. This is such a dusty, sad looking matte. <laughs> it is so patchy and dry. It just, it is not doing much for the eye whenever I tried to use this. And so because of that, I never really even got into this green. This just looked so bad that I couldn't even build a look off of it. So I ended up wiping off my eyeshadow and starting over with a different palette that day. And I haven't ventured into this palette since. So this one here is definitely my worst green eyeshadows out of my whole bunch. Okay, next, here we've got the ABH Nouveau palette. This is what my palette looks like. It's been a while since I've played with this palette, admittedly. Um, I do really enjoy this color story and I did find this to be a very unique vibe for ABH when this palette came out but specifically about 
what it is about these greens that makes me like them towards the lower half of this ranking is just, I mean, the payoff and the performance of the greens in this palette are beautiful. It's just that um, they're kind of like a soft green shade that doesn't give me a ton of green. It's kind of like a real dusty version of a green. And I don't know. Most of the time when I'm feeling a green look, I'm looking for something a little bit more vibrant and punchy like my nails. Speaking of my nails, if you're curious what is on my nails today, I have got this Believe Beauty Green Polish as an undie. Here's the shade name. And then over it, I've got this Danny by Danny Vienna Polish, and it is called that right there. So that's what's on my nails today. I'll probably... Next in the bottom category of greens is going to be this Too Faced Maple Syrup Pancakes palette. I do really enjoy this eyeshadow palette and I like the color story. I have a lot of fun playing with it. Let me show it to you up close. Um, I do have a lot of fun playing with this palette and for it being a Too Faced palette in cardboard packaging, I would say it's pretty good. So overall, this palette doesn't deserve to be in the bottom end of my rankings, but for the greens specifically, it's the shade of green that makes me kind of rank this a little bit lower. It's just really like a murky, pukey green. And yeah, I mean, I did, I have used them and I do enjoy them, but it's just not my favorite greens to reach for. So when I'm feeling a green mood, this isn't one of the palettes that I reach for. <laughs> okay, and this one here might surprise you, but one of my absolute least favorite greens in my collection that is in one of my most expensive palettes in my collection can be found in this Pat McGrath Mothership palette. That's right, here it is. This is the Sublime palette. I do enjoy this palette and I do love the way the green looks when you open the palette up like this. Like that's the shade that I want when I wear this green, but the shade that you get is more like that dark blackened look. Do you see that look right there? I don't know if you can see, but it looks kind of like a, like a, a charcoal gray black instead of green, see? Okay, see how it goes from like a bright green to that deep murky color? I get that I get that really dark green murky color whenever I wear it too. And so, you know, I'm gonna swatch this one for you. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. And maybe if you're into more like duochrome shades, maybe you would enjoy this more. I personally am not the biggest fan of the duo chromes, but I mean, like, I think they're okay. I have lotion on my hands. I don't know if I should put that there. I'm going to put that here. Okay. You see that right there? That, that was not good to swatch there. Okay. Can you see that right there? That is not, it's not giving green. <laughs> it's giving black with a tinge of green. So, it's a beautiful shade and I do love the palette. I like the color, like I like the actual shade itself, but when I'm in the mood for a green shade, this isn't one of the greens that I go to because it doesn't quite give me the full on green that I'm looking for. So, so yeah, because of that, this beautiful green shade here isn't a shade that I gravitate towards when I'm thinking I wanna create a green eye look. When I bought the palette, I wanted this green to look like that, <laughs> but it really looks like that. So that's a little bit of a disappointment to me, but the quality of the shadow is beautiful. It does make a really nice, like deeper outer smokiness and stuff like that. Like I have used the shade and I, I have appreciated that shade and the looks that I've created with this palette, but it's just not my favorite green shade. Let's move on to the middle section, which is going to be not the worst, but not the best. Still pretty good. Okay. I am actually ranking them within each of these categories from the least favorite to the best within each of the worst, medium, and best. So 
towards the bottom of the medium category is going to be the Darth Vader palette. I believe this is called Sith Seduction, the Sith Seduction palette. There's only one green shade in here right there, but as you can see, it is a really it's a really beautiful olive green and it does show up like that on the eye. Let me go ahead and swatch this one. See, it shows up exactly like you expect. It shows up the way that it looks in the palette. And so when I'm wanting a shade this murky green, I know that this is a shade that I can reach for. And so I appreciate the fact that, I appreciate the fact that the shade is true to color. Um, so that's what makes it rank higher for me. Uh, even though it is less impactful than the one that's in the mothership. So because the color is the color that it looks like, and I can incorporate that shade into my look and get that shade out of the look, <laughs> that's what makes this rank higher than the one in the mothership, even though I do enjoy the one in the mothership more. It's just, I don't think of that one when I think of green, I do think of this when I think of dark green. So, okay. And then next up is my Natasha Denona Mini Gold Palette. This is a gold palette, but it really comes off on the eye, at least on me, as more of like a khaki, like a khaki green. And it just gives me a really beautiful khaki green look. I really enjoy it. And the reason why it's not in the best category is just because of the fact that this is a gold palette. <laughs> this is called gold, but it's giving green. <laughs> so I just feel like it's not giving what I expect based off of the outer packaging being bright yellow gold and the name that it is gold. and. You know, these look more like brown and beige, so you kind of expect a golder like brown out of this, but it actually comes out khaki green with a real like army green vibe. So because that does throw me off a little bit and it's not named the mini khaki palette or something like that, um, that's why it's in the medium category. But the performance of these shadows and the looks that I get with this palette are absolutely beautiful. Next up is the palette that I have on my eyes today. Let me give you a close up of the eye look. I did not film today's look, but the palette that I used is this one here from the most recent holiday release for Christmas from Pat McGrath. Here is the name of that palette. I think it's like, um, I forgot which one it's called. Anyway, I did use only this palette to create today's look. I also used both of the blushes today, so I'm happy to be getting some more use out of this palette. And here are the two green shades in this palette. I do like that they're two very different color tones. This is more of like a really bright springy green. It's the, it's the color that I have towards the middle section of the eyelid. And then on the outer edges of the eyelid and the inner edge, I've got the this green as a little bit more of an accent going off into the dark brown matte. So I did a little bit of a neutral halo eye with a pop of green look today. And this is the palette that came to my mind when I was in the mood to create that kind of a look. And it gave me the greens that I was wanting, performed the way that I expected. And because of that, I'm really happy with that. And the only reason why it's not in the higher portion of this ranking is because the actual shades of green, the way they look on me, they're pretty, don't get me wrong, but it's not my most favorite green in my whole collection. So because of that, I have it here in the middle. I do enjoy this palette. I do like it, but I just feel like I don't have enough green out of it. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not supposed to be a green palette because the 
front is pink. So I like that you do have little pops of green in here, but yeah, it's just the particular shades of green that makes this go in the medium category. But the performance is beautiful, and I love oh, I love using each of the greens either individually or together to create a look. And last in this medium category of my green eyeshadows is the Melt Gemini 2. This is a beautiful palette. I'm so happy to have this palette in my collection. Here is what the palette looks like. Obviously, we've only got a few shades of green here on the end, but these greens specifically, they give um, kind of like that same vibe as here in the gold palette. I think the reason why I feel like this is not a redundant color story though is because of the fact that when I look at this palette, I get the greens that I'm expecting out of it. So when I look at this palette, I'm expecting this to be more golden and brown. <laughs> and it just kind of throws me off a little bit. But this palette gives me that like decaying, rotting flower stem, kind of a green, kind of like, you know, life is leaving the plant kind of a look. And I just love the looks that I've created with this palette. I need to use this palette again, but yeah. This one is the last palette in the medium category. So now we're gonna get into my favorite green eyeshadows in my entire eyeshadow palette collection. Really excited to get to this part. I actually have the most palettes in this category, which makes me really happy to say because that means that I have a lot of really good green eyeshadows to play with whenever I'm in the mood for a green eye look. Okay. Now we're getting into the best stack of my green shadows and I am ranking them from my lesser end of favorite to my most, most favorite. I do love every single one. I love every single one of these palettes. So don't get it twisted just because it's on the lower end of the favorite top. Okay, just because it's on the lower end of the cream of the crop section doesn't mean that it's a bad palette at all. It's just, it's just, <laughs> this just, directly relates to how how these palettes pull up my heart and which ones I tend to love a little bit more. So, okay. In the bottom category, I'm putting three palettes in the least favorite, well, yeah, okay. I'm putting three palettes in the least favorite of the best section and that is going to be each of these here. <laughs> okay, I've got one Pat McGrath quad and two minis from Natasha Denona. Let's break them down one by one. Here we've got the mini Tropic palette. I only have one green in this palette. This is more of like an aqua green blue. So this shade goes not only with this green, but it also goes beautifully with the blues. And it's a nice contrast to the purple. So this kind of is like a green. It's like a seafoam green, okay? So here we've got two greens in this palette. I love this palette because you can make a monochromatic green look with just those two shades. Um, but the reason why this is a little bit more towards the lower end of the category is just because this particular green doesn't spread out really easily. This is one of her super, super older formulas of palettes and so I do remember a lot of people complained about the performance of the Tropics and the Mini Tropic so that might have something to do with how much I have to work at using this green but once I do have this green on my eyelid or like say for a liner or however I choose to incorporate it into the look that day it's a really beautiful punchy bright green the pigment lasts all day I never have any fading I don't get any fallout I just I really enjoy this green. So even though it's a little bit harder to work with, it gives me the color that I expect by looking at it. And I do really enjoy this palette for this green. So that's why it's in the top faves. Same with this one here. This is the Mini Metropolis palette from Natasha Denona. And we've only got this one green here. Now I have the exact same complaint, have the same critique as I do in the other one in that this green doesn't spread quite as well. This one does spread better than this and this palette came out more in her recent years. So I do believe it is an improved type of a satin or shimmer formula. 
it's just kind of a really deep green and so um yeah i like it as an accent to go with these other greens i just feel like it gives that depth of range but because there's only one shade of green in this palette that's why it's on the lower end of my faves of my top greens and that goes same with this one here this one is the nocturnal nirvana here is what my palette looks like i've only used it a few times i wanted this palette for so so long this palette came out long before i even knew about pat mcgrath and so it had sold out before i ever even came in contact with the brand once this was restocked for the very first time here like about a year ago i could not I was just like, I cannot pass up the opportunity to own this. I love each of these shades. I can create a standalone look with this palette, but it is all shimmers. The one thing about this green, though, that makes it lean a little bit more towards the lower end of my top faves is just the fact that it is a little bit of a shifty shade. Can you see that it like has a little bit of like a purple lilac kind of a, a shift, which makes it go really nicely with this and that? Anyway... Because it is a shifty green to purple and it's not just a, a green green, that's kind of why it's on this lower end of my faves and because it's only one green. And I don't reach for this green specifically when I'm thinking a green eye look, but I love this palette so much. And that green shade is stunning on the eye, so that's why it's in the top faves. Next for some of my... Okay, now we're getting... Now it's hard. Here I've got a big surprise. This palette was such a shock to me. I picked it up just out of sheer curiosity. One day I was walking around Walmart, which I don't do very often, okay? And I was checking out the makeup section to see what kind of makeup they had. And I found this little palette here by Uoma by Sharon Stone. This little palette I found right about the time that the Natasha Denona Yucca palette released as well. And I was quite impressed by the look that I got out of this little quad right here. The payoff in these greens is just phenomenal. This is a stunning deep green matte. I was blown away by the pigment and blendability. I mean, this is the drugstore. I don't, I don't remember how much this little palette costs, but it really wasn't very much. I mean, maybe a few bucks, maybe five, maybe eight. I don't know, but um, yeah, I love that these two greens here are beautiful in performance. They have a, they go together lovely. In order for me to get more payoff with that shade, I did use it on an eye base and with a denser packer shader like this. I do want to say that I have videos with most of these palettes that I will link down below in the description box in case you're curious for some inspo with any of these palettes. But up next in the list, if you hear that snoring in the background, that is my Shih Tzu. He is a senior pup. He is sleeping his little heart out. <laughs> We're all adjusting to the time change. It's daylight savings just passed. It's spring, that's what happens. I wish we could just keep the time normal. I digress. Next up is the Melt Gemini palette. Here is what this palette looks. I'm just gonna get rid of the plastics, man. Here is what my palette looks like. It is really beautiful. These greens up here just make such a gorgeous eye look. I was so impressed with this palette. I was so impressed with the looks that I got out of this palette. I could not believe how stunning the shades are on the eye. And that's what's making this rank really high towards my top faves. Uh, yeah, let's move next to another Melt Beauty and that is the Earth palette. I love this palette, but this only has one green matte. I love this green matte. It is so good. It is basically right in line as this matte here, but I, I do feel like the performance of this green here is a little bit better than that one in the Sharon Stone Uoma palette or whatever, but I really love this green matte. That one is followed by the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana palette. Here we also have a beautiful green matte. This one isn't quite as dark as the ones that I was just now talking about. It's a little bit more brighter and like 
you know, spring green, a deep green matte with incredible payoff and beautiful blendability. I love this green matte in my collection. It is one of my most reached for greens. Okay, now we're in the top three greens in my eyeshadow palette collection. And for slot number three, it is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This one has beautiful greens, okay? We've got this bright green here, this gorgeous grungy green cream to powder matte that I love, this really deep green here. We've got a couple of the like more khaki greens as well. So I love the variety that this palette gives me as far as in the shades of green that are available. So the reason why this one is not coming up even higher in this ranking is just because of the fact that this cream to powder matte is just a little bit more difficult to work with. It does require a little bit more skill and like blending, but it's beautiful. I love the Natasha Denona cream to powder mattes. I love them. However, the Natasha Denona Yucca palette has just a regular green and a little bit more like like more regular mattes. They're not quite the cream to powder that makes it more difficult to work with. I love the shade of this bright green and I really love this like, I really love this and I really love this like green to gold sparkly shimmer. It's really intense and beautiful, but I love these like murky mu muted greens are really pretty. I love this bright pop of green and the fact that this is a little bit more of a deeper like army shade of green. So I like the variety of greens that are offered in this palette as well as the way that they perform and how easy they are to use. And if you're familiar with my eyeshadow palette collection at all, you can probably guess what my number one go-to most favorite green eyeshadow palette in my entire collection is. And that is none other than my beloved Melt Smoke Sessions palette. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me show you this palette. You know, you've seen it. Look at those greens love these greens especially this end of the palette here but i do like these like golden green khaki colors i actually haven't played with that side of the palette yet i've only created a look with these four shades like several times over but i am looking forward to creating another look with this palette and maybe mixing some of the shades like into one look instead of keeping it like two separate parts of the palette but I love that this palette is nothing but varieties in green and that there's no other colors in it. I love that it's an all green palette with so many different shades and, you know, a couple of different finishes. I really enjoy every look I've ever created with this palette and I am so glad that I got this on clearance when I did from the Melt website. So yeah, did you know that this was gonna be my number one favorite? <laughs> It was probably not that hard to guess, but yeah, those are all of my favorite greens in my eyeshadow palette collection. I would love to hear what some of the palettes are that you use in your collection whenever you're in the mood for a green eyeshadow look. So be sure to comment that down below. Maybe I can check into some of those for my own collection. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my small channel out so much. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.